Okay, so it's a red seal for bloodworm. <clears throat> Size 10 uh, Mustad C49S with 330 seconds uh, red bead. For the tail, we're going to uh, tie in some uh, red marabou. For the rib, we're going to use some of this Lagerton's uh, mini flat braid, but we're just going to pull one strand out of it. And we are using uh, UTC 70 red thread. And the body is going to be red uh, seal fur with some flash mixed in and uh, we're going to actually do this in a dubbing loop so we first start by mounting our red thread again cover the hook shank and come back up to the eye or back up to the bead When it comes to bloodworms, it sure doesn't take uh, much uh, marabou for a tail. That shoots you plenty. You tie it in right behind the bead. Hopefully, you use some of that marabou to fill up the hole in the bead. And just wind down where you want your tail to start. And then a couple uh, wraps in behind it just to hold it up a bit. It doesn't tangle. Then tear it off nice and tight. Just going to tie in our uh, gold rip to start. Put it off to the side. So seal fur is uh, kind of a coarse fur, and it's it's, uh, it's a little difficult to work with. So using uh, very small mounts is uh, a little bit easier. And again. Uh, Moisten your, your fingers. And the biggest mistake you can make is to overspin this. Because you end up just uh, turning it into a rope. And it doesn't stick to the thread at all. Okay, so you get that point and you're going to double up your thread. This is how you create your dubbing loop. Again, it's a, it's a bloodworm, so you want to keep it uh, fairly thin. So uh, just watch how much uh, dubbing you use. Let me just spin her up. So then as we uh, wind this forward, we're gonna make sure that we don't uh, overlap our wraps. Otherwise it just makes it too big of a pattern.
So when I first started trying this pattern, I thought using uh, this uh, flashy tinsel for a rib, the fly was not going to last very long. But uh, I, I don't know how, how it works, but I'm sure the seal fur protects it somehow. And uh, I've had some banner days on this fly in, in red or green. And the green works really well in the summertime. So you just, you just wiggle it back and forth to work it down inside that uh, seal fur. And usually give it seven or eight ribs. I, sp I spent uh, nine years managing Tonquin. It's like uh, it seemed that every year there was a uh, had to come up with a different bloodworm because the ones that worked the year before weren't working that year. But this seal for a bloodworm just seems to have uh, stood the test of time and uh, just seems to work year after year. And that's about all there is to it. And the. Uh, because it's coarse, you have those fibers sticking out, and uh, that's actually a good thing. I, I don't know if they're taking it for a uh, cluster of bloodworms or if they're just taking it as a single bloodworm, but it, uh, it seems to work quite well.